What's going on good people? Today we're getting into Simple Solutions, one of our favorite type of episodes, scouring the internets to help people solve their relationship problems. A lot of fun. Let's get to work. Hey everyone, welcome back to Summit with the Summit. I'm Katoya and this is Damon. my wonderful husband. If you are tuning in for the first time, welcome, welcome, welcome. And for all of those of y'all who stay rocking with us, welcome back. Mm-hmm. Is simple solution time. Mm-hmm. Let's solve some of these internet problems, all right? Uh, we appreciate it. We actually have real problems. We want to hear those too, you know? <laughs> real concerns. I mean, these are real. We just don't know these people. So, it'd be cool to get it from the listeners. But before we do anything, as always, we want to say thank you. Mm-hmm. Thank you. You guys are wonderful. And so, we're going to uh, read one of our reviews um, you know, it's our motivation for the week every time. Every time. All right, let's dive in. This one here comes from K. Selimov. Mm. Um, just put that together. That could have not It's been. okay. It is okay. It is okay. <laughs> Five stars titled Helpful and Interesting. Love it. Great relationship advice that I use in my newer marriage. Mm. And super entertaining to learn about how their marriage works. Boom. Appreciate that. That was really good. I like that. Appreciate new that. New marriage. Man, mm. shout out to the new marriages shout out, out there. Shout out to the new marriages. The new relationships are budding. And kudos to you because you are choosing to like be a consumer of new knowledge, right? Mm. Like that's a big deal. One of the best things to do is to learn from people. Sure. And sure. take what you want or <laughs> and leave what you don't want. That's it. We're not here saying this is it. <laughs> no. But we are saying this, these are some things that'll work for us. And you it. might want that. You may not. But we appreciate you for listening and mm-hmm. uh, wish you well on that newness. Absolutely. Absolutely. We appreciate big that. Big deal. I think even with, I think knowledge and insight, um, you, you, don't out, you don't age out of that. Right? Like yeah. We're always... In our opinion, always be learning to grow. Words. Yeah, as humans, your career, your fitness, your spirituality, money, like yeah. you know, relationally, parenting, if you have kids, all those things you can continue to get better at. Yeah. Uh, listen, if Katoria and I get some great advice and insight, we taking it. Yeah, we're I really, running it to the ground. Yeah, I like to like I. It's my hope and prayer one day to just arrive. Like I don't <laughs> want to do that anymore. But I keep Uh, getting like two double punched (laughs) at the realization that that is not the truth. Because I'll be like, I don't feel like growing no more. Like, I I just want to be good. Can I just coast? As parents. But that's not reality. Alone. We got a 12 year old and it's a whole new world we're walking into. Like, man, it's new stuff. So it's (laughs) alone. (laughs) Alone. We finna be in for a new journey. So I think that's the fake notion though in life that I was just like going oh, yeah. to arrive. You just think like, you oh, know. an adult? I'm good. I'm good. 21. And so I'm, I'm still babbling that. Like here we are. If it was 21, here I am. 20, 10, 15 years later, I'd still be like, what? Mm-hmm. I'm still learning, but that's the beauty. So that's the beauty. Of anyway, that's just a, you know, that's just free extra stuff. Right free there. extra stuff there. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get into it. Simple Solutions. If it's your first time with us here, Simple Solutions, we uh, scour the interwebs here, uh, trying to find out how we can bring some insight and value to other people by listening to their pains and pleas online, and we share them with you. Right. Uh, And we answer them (laughs) frankly, honestly, and straight to the point. If it's your first time, that's what Simple Solutions is all about. That's true. They always end up with, right? It's actually probably our... Well, all of, I feel pretty confident all of our episodes try to be pretty evergreen. But, like, you could listen to this because there's just solutions randomly here. Yep. Just grab and go. Let's get into it here. Number one, let's dive in. I'm trying to be real quick today, man. I like it. Short. I like it. Let's go. No. All yes. Right, all right, we're going to go short answers, then unpack. Mm. Right? <laughs> we got to get through 28 minutes. Uh, here we go. Number one, do I need to like my spouse's friends because I certainly... Do not. Simple solutions. Most likely. Mm. You should like them. That doesn't make them feel good. Yeah, you should. Why so? She said most likely. You know, this is interesting. Okay. What's your answer? I'm going to say you should. You should like your friends' friends because these are the people that your friends are hanging out with. mm, I mean that that your partner is hanging out with. I said my simple solution was choose two. Okay. Is it choose choose two? Choose two. Because it can't be zero. In my opinion. I don't think it could be zero, in my humble opinion. I think that you got to be able to choose at least one or two friends where you could tolerate, 
You can get along with. You can be, you know, at a little barbecue with somebody. So I think that is going to be, if you're going to choose somebody, you need at least one or two friends there that you can you can make it through a dinner party with. Agreed. I like the idea of at least two. Mm. But there should definitely be like, yeah, you, you should. This is just the, Friends are important. Friends are where, you know, heart to hearts come from mm-hmm. and advice yep. and the outings like you should you should want to like them they should your 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 partner's friends should be beneficial to them and mm. you should like that because they are being beneficial um so i i think that they're i think that that that's important let's 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 play it out for a second here and let's say you don't let's say you make the decision uh to not put in any more effort trying to like your spouse's friends so what would that look like that would look like well the so potential events and interactions, right? Uh, activities, not going over to their house probably, right? Double dates are limited. That's what I'm um, saying. Like, so you're going to cut, cut a, I won't say a lot, but a good bit of interaction that your spouse enjoys. That's going to be, that's going to be challenging. Yeah, it is. It is challenging. It's challenging. I was actually just talking to some of my uh, close friends mm-hmm. and I, my close friends are not necessarily our couple friends. And I would even say vice versa. Uh, oh, you mean and then for them? We're for not, you. Uh, no. What do you mean for me? Like your closest friends are not really... Oh, well, we hang out on a double date. We don't do like. a lot of sure, that. Sure, sure, sure. Sure, sure. And so I do think that it is important to establish, you know, a balance. Because at some point, like you just said, there's going to be this mixture of friends. Now, we can all be mixed, no doubt. You know, like we're not going to... Yeah, like, hey, it's Katoya's birthday. Everybody can come. It's not like, ooh, don't invite them. It's mm. not like that. Mm. But it's not like they're not our couple friends necessarily. Uh, uh, you're, uh, you're saying your best friends are not the people we would hang out with a double date with immediately. Is that what right. you're saying for clarity? Okay. Right. Right, right. Yeah, yeah. And that's fine. We're, we're pro tears. It is we're okay. pro to, tears and friends. So I'm just, but there's no bad blood. It's just right. not... First blood, right, right, right. if you will. But there are four or five friends on my side and vice versa. Mm-hmm. I mean, more than that, to be honest. There's not really any bad blood. I know there's one person you don't like. <laughs> but we got friends in general. Yeah. They could come over and just hang. At any time. At any time. You had a, a friend come over last week and have yeah. dinner with us. Yeah. And it was a great time. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I, I only just bring that up because there's just this crossing that does need to happen, that will happen, that can happen. Mm-hmm. And if you literally do not like someone, that's then that's words. just too difficult. That's strong words right there. Yeah. You now, know. tolerate, don't prefer firsthand, or mm-hmm. not the best connection. That's mm-hmm. one thing. Sure. Because that means we're still going to have a good time. Yeah, yeah. And maybe also it, it, communicate, because this is important, because your spouse... The friends of your spouse, like communication dialogue needs to happen here. But it also could be a thing where certain contexts and situations you don't like them in. For example, I was talking with, I picked up my son from a sleepover the other day, and the guy, the dad, you know, we're cool. And he was like, I don't like to work out with friends. It does not go well. So he's like, I don't put my friends in those contexts. Because it usually doesn't go well. They're really trying to that's... push me and motivate me and telling me to get two more. That hasn't worked out well. So now I know as I'm wiser and older, I don't put myself in those situations. So maybe you're like, yo, we don't go on vacation with friends. Or maybe it's like, I, I'd rather not go to their house. Like maybe you get us in your communication. You can be like, man, these moments, right? Maybe around we're talking about money. Whatever it is, maybe that could be a piece of the puzzle that could help. But we do think... Yeah. You got to put a little work in there to find at least two, and most likely you're going to need at least one. All right, good. Yep, yeah, no, it's real. Next one here. Let's go. This one was actually in all caps. I saw this one on Facebook groups. Here we go. I want to do more kinky stuff in the bedroom with my husband, but don't know how to start the convo. Any advice? Simple solutions. Hmm. Ooh. Want to get a little more kink? That's a that's a, a K word. That's an interesting word. We don't use that word a lot in like in language. Now, so kinky. All right, one more time. I want to do more kinky stuff in the bedroom with my husband, but I don't know how to start that convo. Girl, don't start it. Just do it. Ooh. Don't start the conversation. Just be like, 
tonight I'm a, I want to try this. Or Man. start with a text message. Uh oh. Get them ready for Enthusiasm. it. Enthusiasm. Yeah, I think there's a little gearing up, you know, mm. try it. But depending on it, because I don't think most men think they're necessarily kinky. I don't know why. I think that, I don't think. Well, kinky's a whole other word. We can unpack that next yeah, month. Yeah, well, first of all, because you know we do have that, this little love sex convo. They might not. We're going to have to tease it again. It's they true. Next, next month, February, love month, we're talking about love, sex, and relationships, you know, in our version, right? We ain't getting like raunchy and raw, but we definitely are going to be talking about it because it's, it's, it's important in our, um, in our relationships. And um, I say that because we've been doing, we were, well, we have watched a few episodes of Sex, Love, and Goof. And I know a lot of people feel different ways about uh, Quinn Paltrow. Ain't that her name? Ain't that who it is? I believe so. But the, the show is pretty good and informative. But there's these levels of sex and like different types of way we want to have sex. And Kinky is one of them. Mm. And Kinky is off, was looked to be very low in most men category from what we have watched. But I think there's an exploration of what kinky can look like. You know, like you said, we got to define what kinky can you gotta be. You got to define, I don't know that. Now, if you want to be tied, roped, bonded, that's oh. another story, right? Oh. I mean, like, that's I'm a... whipped, you know, I don't know. There may be. But if you're trying to go that extreme, you might want to talk about you it. Might. If you just want to try a little, <laughs> a little, little <laughs> something. Up, and a, and a, uh, a cover, a head covering, that's one thing. Change, if you a little walk texture. out, If you walk out the bathroom like Catwoman, we might need to... Uh, Chat just a little Go bit. Go for it. Now, Catwoman is good. That's Cat- costume. Somebody might be in there. Catwoman has a whip and <laughs> will kick you down a ceiling. Uh, so, so you said, go, don't even talk about it. Just jump in. Depending on the extreme. Depending like, if it's extreme. just like a little something. But I do think like teasing it for the... Teasing it is mm. fine. But everybody should talk about like things that you want to do. And I think every relationship should kind of reevaluate them, themselves sexually. Mm-hmm. As well, go yeah. out there like, hey, do you like that? Do we like that? Do we want to do that? What you want to explore? Yeah. Yeah, you should have that conversation. It's just like anything else that we do. So that's my thoughts. That's it. Be direct. Simple solutions. Be direct. Say, this is what I want. I want to try it out. Uh, pretty confident. Pretty confident they're going to be, they're probably going to be more than likely down for it, depending on what it is. Yeah. So just, just bring it up. Just as y'all brush some teeth in the morning, just bring it up. Hey, babe, I want to, you know, boom, just put molasses all over your body. And then just, you know, wash your face and walk out the bathroom. Just just see what happens with that. Or send him a gift. You know, put that in the gift just with a little question mark. Just see what happens right there. That's it. It's got, got my mind thinking already. Let's keep moving here. Kinky here. We're going to talk about that next month. I'm excited about that. And kink. Uh, next up, what we got next? <clears throat> I'm newly engaged. Am I supposed to buy him a ring? And if so, when? Mm. Oh, baby, you knew, no. Okay. No, that's not even new. That's just like <laughs> lost. Uh, today, babe, that's when you buy the ring. You buy the ring today. No, you don't. You buy, you buy you don't the ring today. When you buy him a ring. No, buy the ring today. If you're asking the question, you're probably already too late, right? You just go ahead and get him that ring. No, right now. she said I'm newly engaged. You don't gotta buy no man a ring until it's like you know a month or two, like before the marriage. As long as you can get it in time, they don't walk around and wear a ring. Men don't no, wear I think. Well, no, I, I. So that's not how I took it. So I see what you're saying. I'm talking about she wants to get him an engagement ring. And who, I'm like, wear, who wears an engagement ring as a man? Why not? Why are we not wearing engagement rings, fellas? <laughs> why are we not wearing engagement rings? That's I, really I the thought of that, the day. That's really not a bad thought. I think that's that, the thought of the day. If I got a ring, you got a ring. Why we ain't wearing rings, fellas? We're showing that we both committed. Society has not allowed men to show their full commitment physically. And I'm out. I'm but out the, on Well, I think it depends on like your spouse too. Like some men want to step it up, you know, and be like, mm-hmm. you know, man, well, the thing about cool. married wedding rings, like the engagement is one ring. Then uh-huh. you solidify that, boom, you know, with the band uh-huh. or whatever. Actually, men should just be proposing with the band. Just that propose really with the band. goes on the bottom. Oh, we're giving out nuggets, <laughs> And fam. then you'd be like, bam, here's the ring. And then the ring, uh, uh, oh, 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 that's good. I yeah, like that. We're twisting it all up. Because honestly, it Woo! should go like that. Because it it's kind of weird. Like literally, you have on your engagement ring, you have to take that ring off. take that off. Or maybe you didn't wear it. I don't really remember actually how it goes. But then you gotta add now add the band. to the band. Uh. Women, be impressed with the band. Meanwhile, you are here just looking free, free with your fingers. Right, just unless free your fingers. man want to step it up and you get him like a double ring himself, <laughs> or just give him the ring now and then he doesn't get anything on the back end. Yeah, it's not a bit. But I just want you to I know now. I want the streets to know now. I'm off the streets. I'm for it. I'm for it. 
I'm for it. Listen to us here. We're for the men engagement ring. And then when we get down the aisle, I hit you with the ring, and I just keep going to the vows. There it is. Y'all heard it here first. We got more nuggets and more solutions coming your way. We'll be back after a quick break. So I don't really love to cook as the primary cook in this family. However, what I do like is to jazz up the meals when I do cook, right? I'm looking for spices, seasonings, dry rubs, and I found a good place. It is Artisan Dry Goods made by beautiful Briny C. So a little bit of everything to spice up, jazz up your meal. It is a local store right here in Atlanta, but ready to ship out to you all over the world. Absolutely. And they're legit. I'm going to be honest with you here. Forbes, The Tonight Show with Jimmy Fallon, and Oprah's Magazine. And you oh. know, you know Oprah oh. only going to promote the good stuff. All right. <laughs> so check them out. Instagram. Beautiful, briny sea. Make your kitchen better. All right, I'm talking about real good ingredients, mm. urban gardens, local farms, mm. so it's good for your taste buds, good for your body. Check them out, and let's get to the episode. All right, we're back, team. Check them out. Beautiful, briny sea. Mm. Ah, mm-hmm. Here we go. More simple solutions coming your way. Next up, I have been in a relationship for five years, and he still has a code on his phone. Should I be worried? Simple solutions. No, <laughs> uh, no, you shouldn't be worried. I do appreciate if this is uh, your your biggest worry. Um, I still have a code on my phone because I'm not always around my wife. Simple solutions. I mean, a code is not for you. <laughs> Man, a code is for like if it's lost, if it's stolen. Uh, your kids. Yeah. No, uh, that's the way I see that's codes. How, that's I've been having codes before you and vice versa. Ever since I could have a code, I had a code. I got students in my classroom right now, around my desk. I want to know that somebody got one level of defense before they just take over my stuff. Yes. Now, we give the caveat, and we said every episode, because there's one question that feels like this. If, depending on your relationship, health, if trust and, and you know, um, honesty and those things have been a part of your relationship's journey... Right, they maybe want to have some more conversations because I know Katoya's code. Katoya knows my code, right? I know her email password. She knows my email password. Yeah. We share the same bank information. So this trust and factor that we have built um, is, is is strong and founded and known, but we also still have codes. Yeah. So I feel like the conversation yeah. is one. Yeah, it's true. Like, right. what's the base? Like, why you feel threatened by? Why the you code? feel that way? Two. Why don't you just say, hey? Are you comfortable with us sharing codes sharing just in case I want to use your phone or, you know, anything like that? Like you that. left it. I think people just are scared to have those hard conversations, which mm. is understandable. It's understandable. But, you know, and, and depending on your past, like something like that triggers, you know, like a code. Oh, no, you don't want to let me know. And, you know, I say, babe, let me look at this and it lock and you, you yeah. got to unlock it for me. Like there is some type of fluid way mm. you would like to, you know, yeah. you know, but. In five years is a while. You should that have some wild. trust there. So. That's a half decade, yo. Yeah. You know, the phone specifically. Um, it's the key to somebody's soul. It's, <laughs> it's a lot. There's a lot there. Mitch said There's to me a- the other day, phones are pretty important, right? I was like, yeah, yeah they, they yeah, are. Yeah, they're pretty important. And then I went they're, through how the evolution of phones began. Yeah. From a beeper to not even having any of this. Yeah, access. yeah, yeah. But now, it's everything. It's, it's so much. And if you're walking in honesty and integrity with your relationship, Right? There shouldn't be, you know, this... Hey, babe, let me see your phone real quick. What? No, what What you need? Right? Or shouldn't... You know, it shouldn't... Because that's a very... I don't know if you see it a lot on your timeline, but I see questions. I see uh, reels and TikToks. When your, what happens when, your, when you're in the shower, but your baby touch your phone? Right? You come out soapy. Like, hey, hey, what you, do, what, what you doing over there? You know? And vice versa. It's not just a, a guy thing, right? Um, because that's just a, if somebody feels like they're doing something in the shadows, they shouldn't be on the phone. That's a place of privacy where I can keep that happening. And that's not what you want. That's not what we want for well, you, right? Well, I will say that that does feel sneaky, too, oh, though. What can feel sneaky? If somebody only tries to get your phone when you're not in, when you're not oh, no, that, in Oh, no, that feels sneaky, too. For so sure. So, I sure. think people just be more open. Hey, babe, let me use your phone. Like, if you do it... Try it in multiple different moments, you know? Mm-hmm. Try it when you're both just sitting, you know? Mm-hmm. I think they may ask you my phone out there. I was like, sure. But then I was just like, what you doing now? Like, I mean, in general, I was like, in general. you got a phone, so what is happening? Where's your phone? <laughs> <laughs> sure. But it wasn't anything major, yeah. but I, I do feel like, you know, phones do feel like they're mine. 
but it shouldn't be like, but why, mm, you know? Yeah. So I, but it, it can mm. be, and I get that. So it's just uh, again more communication. I it would be interesting to try it for twenty four hours or a week, maybe whatever. You and try this home? No, that that would just be crazy. I was like, like that's... Ten, no, 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 but like to go a whole week without having a code on your home. Yeah, I was just laughing because like when I do get on your phone and like I picked it up and like been on Facebook or something, oh. and I just be like, "What? Who oh. are these people?" Oh yeah, no, no, <laughs> no, no your Instagram even, way different. Who are these? <laughs> no, I'm no. not even interested. I don't even, and even though yes, we have like fifteen hundred of the same friends yeah. or something. There's another one I'm we still don't. Like, but I don't know any of these, and I'm not true. even interested. Very in true. Your so, stories and I yeah, do be so I know, in right? <laughs> Like, I don't need your phone. You only getting stand-up clips. I can't even I'm getting find, workouts. I can't even find his apps. I'd be like, where is Cash out? Where, where is this? You know, where is photos? Like, no thank you. No that's need very to true. Give me that. Where are your maps at, bro? Where are your maps? Oh, that's, that's funny. That's so funny. <laughs> but no, a code off your phone, I just that just sounds careless to me Ooh. for just the sake of like, I mean, I haven't lost my phone in a long time, but still, okay. I just like to know that like, if I sit it down, if I don't have it or something. So, yeah. I don't know. Very true. Thoughts. Next up, what you got? All right. <clears throat> help. Why my husband... Mm. Help. My husband has no friends. Mm. I feel guilty <laughs> for leaving him at home, and I hate to stay home. How should I handle this? Mm -hmm. It's a good one. It is a good one. Simple solutions. <sighs> try, some, try to make new friends together. Oh, that's good. That's one. That's, that's one way. way. Maybe... Friendships are not his strong suit, mm -hmm. or maybe like he's a he's an introvert and a homebody, and you're an extrovert. So maybe it's just beneficial for y'all to do this That's together. True. That's good. That's good. I was gonna say leave him in the dust. Yeah, I mean uh, you shouldn't feel bad. This that is a this is a this is a, a twenty two to forty seven year old grown man. Yep. Um, and <laughs> and if he want to stay home, if he want to stay or home, if he want friends, he got to go for it. I do know? agree with that. But a way to meet, him. but a way to meet, and him. for you to still get your extrovert feel is for y'all to just yeah. you know explore yeah. friendships together. You know, we've talked about friendships a couple times on a few different ways in episodes. We we I would assume we also agree that friendships are important for a human, but then also they bring benefit. In a, in a a tier two type way in a relationship, yeah. right? We talked we've talked about the close circle. We talked about the venting ways. We've talked about getting out and self care. Like, it's bro, valid. go shoot some hoops. Go have a drink with some like, and vice versa. Like, boo, get out and you know. And so there is there is um, value in that. But if you if you if you hate and stand at home seven days a week, and he like yo, let's just chill, you know, because this is this was a a, a a woman talking about her husband having no friends here. You know, don't don't feel yourself. I feel the way. Don't feel yourself crippled. Well, you just gotta be in your snuggie seven days a week. You know, cause he feels great, but you don't, right? So there's that balance, right? With that, right there. Yeah. Help. He has no friends. That's what she said. She said my, husband, my husband has no friends. I feel guilty for leaving him at home. Well, here's the thing. And too. stand too. They could have just different standards of friends, or maybe he like messages and he don't go out that much. She probably wants more for his friendships, and he just maybe not wanting that, or he's content, for, you know. And so, but. But 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 going out with friends is important, and mm -hmm. like getting out the house mm -hmm. and not just sitting up under your spouse is important. Yeah yeah yeah, and this is that clear communication because you know, and I'm, now I'm just adding some conjecture here, but maybe it's more of a thing where he's more of a homebody, but he'd be more open uh, where the friends could pull up, right? Yeah. Like let's just sit on the deck. You know what I'm saying? Maybe we just yeah. watch the game. Maybe maybe they're gamers. I don't know. Clearly, gaming age has progressed as we've grown as a people. People be so, on the game. You know what I'm saying? Like it's it's not a it's not a teen and under thing anymore. And so that so that could so just maybe having some more dialogue about what friendships would look like. Or I think it'd be helpful. A hobby. Mm. Hobbies create relationships. Ooh, you know? have, we, have we done a hobby episode? We we've discussed we, it briefly. Ooh, I know for sure, but ooh. like I think we have. But I do adult. believe in hobbies creating new relationships. You That's know, like true. I, I was talking to some friends about a friend. Who just, she's yeah. I mean, I definitely have Talk experienced that. I mean, Damon's hobby that turned into a career of comedy mm. developed so many relationships. Mm. You know, and I have some you know good uh, acquaintances and mm. you know relationships through some things that I've done. Yeah. So, yep. And it's that another outlet. I didn't. I like. I feel like for one, like I didn't 
have like a BFF when I was a bike ride when I was in cycling, but I had I always you, had people. I you had a crew. We yeah. would go out to lunch after ride. We would go out holiday to holiday parties. Yeah, just, that, yeah like, it was just things. like, oh man, this is fun. Yeah, you know? yeah, 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 that's true. Um, that's so true. that hobbies. Yeah, maybe he needs a hobby and like you know, it's a new thing for me is to smoke cigars. You know, just hang out. And <laughs> smoke cigars, cigars and throw axes. <laughs> yeah, throw axes. Sure, whatever. <laughs> whatever I'm not here to what judge. No, what you want to do? What you want to do? I'm happy you got something you want to do. Go for a hike. What you yeah. into? What you, you know, into? there's like these gaming places now. You like go yeah. to a place and game collectively? No. Yeah. Did I know that? Like, hey, bam, we got TVs, Xboxes. Oh. You can come in for games and challenges. Probably get some drinks and chill for a few hours. It's like it's like watching a video. like a. Uh, it's like a, a leveled up arcade. Yeah. Like we're but playing like games. Adults, we're playing games. Adults. Tournament I, sessions. I do not know this. I don't know. I, <laughs> one friend I know has <laughs> one. Like, for my friend's brother-in-law, uh, future brother-in-law, sure. owns something like this. I know. It's That's, pretty cool. I only know of it in Texas. I bet you. them. Best if I won't give us some capital and we come up with a few ideas. That's so good. Cool. That's just a, a factory that opened ain't up with TVs, TVs and some Wi-Fi. And, and, and a bar. And a couple drinks. God, and they're like man. running tournaments. That bet y'all. You, you like stuff like that. Oh, wrap that up right there. <laughs> Bro, hey, we got, we got, we got, we got. I set that up. I don't know. Nate, I you know, brothers play um, Girls whatever play. mission play. Fortnite. Fortnite stuff. Oh, yeah. Fortnite station. Yeah. Nintendo oh, Xbox oh, tournaments. Bet nobody gonna throw us no cap. NFL. Bet y'all won't throw us no cap. I have no idea. Anyway, <laughs> anyway. but yeah, so yeah. Like, there's just so many things to enjoy in this world. So yeah. I feel like the man needs hobbies, and sure. then he can like have some better relationships. Sure, sure, sure. Love it. Let's keep moving here. My friend of twelve years divorced. But always tries to give me marital advice. I never listen. But I've been thinking that's been done. <laughs> am I right? <laughs> am I right? Simple solutions. I love, am I right? <laughs> I love when they say, am I right? It makes me so happy every time. Right? Uh, am I right? This is a Twitter thread. Um, simple solutions. She done? No, I say listen. No, no, that's what, no. She's, she's. I've been thinking. I that's been done. Am oh, I right? It's been done she's, for her I think to she's never listen. A, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That is done. You should listen to her because either she done learned or she done failed, and it's up to you to decide if you thought that was right or wrong. Hundred percent. But I think that you should 100%. listen. Yeah, hundred percent. Somebody who done had a failed marriage, and somebody who, and someone who just observes marriages. I, one of my closest friends, she is not married. Come on, but she is a teacher, mm. and so for, this is not marriage. But if she were to give anyone parenting advice, I say she is very well within her right mm -hmm. because she, and experience, yes, and knowledge from from being a teacher of years on, and man. dealing with children Come for on. years. You have the right to speak into parenting mm. just because in, in so many ways yeah. you have been a parent to 22 kids over and over and over yeah. each class. So all that to say, you are the one who to determine if you think this is good advice sure. or bad advice. Take, we said it from the first point of the episode. Yeah. Take it, it or leave it. It's up it. to you to decide. Like even for this person, like yeah. you need to decide like I like Oh, man, that's a good thing. You right. Y'all didn't communicate. Listen to this person. Our marriage has failed. Mm. So listen to this person. Their marriage is going well, you know? So whatever, you know? Listen. <laughs> listen. And take it or leave it. She's divorced. And she, we learn many times from others' experiences, yeah, right? Yeah, failures. Right? You watch sure. and see, like, okay, I'm going to do that. I'm not do that. Small business, parenting, pets. We... We're thinking about in the next year getting a pet. Sure, getting I heard you say that. And I was thinking like the next three to six months. No, I'm no, really no. feeling the no, dog right not, now. You're not feeling the dog. I really am. You're not. I promise you. I really am. We're going we're gonna to house sit somebody, dog. I re we're going to house sit somebody. Dog. We should. Sorry, guys. That's a change. <laughs> we're speaking from our heart I, right now. I didn't know he was really. We, we did said, say when we buy our first that's home. That's what we said. But I'm that's what we said. Sooner. Don't let that dog that's break in your new house. Anyway. What was I at? I, I ain't heard that, in here. That was brand new. What I'm saying is like, if somebody's got some experience that could be beneficial, why would you not take it? Yeah. Why would you not listen? 100%. If somebody's like, yo, I lost 100 pounds, right? And you this over here trying to lose 20. Why would you not, like, why would you not listen to Whether that? Whether you like it or not, it's so, up for you to decide. You There's information out here for the taking. You know, like I've been listening to more podcasts and... I don't like some of them, sure, right? Because sure. I don't like that it's scripted. Sure. Clearly, we're not scripted. <laughs> Clearly. Right? We just go out the dome. We've got a few points, we and then we points. enjoy conversation, because that's the goal of this podcast, is to feel like we're sitting and talking. 
But some people are like, and when I re- listened to you, I thought that. And I'm like, oh my gosh. I love how you're prepared, but I love, I just hate the inauthenticity here. And so I have to take it or leave it when I'm listening to, you know, their, um, you know, their discussion. Sure, sure. So, but the same thing is like, that's my choice, but right. the information is still out there, and that goes for people's personal experiences yeah, as well. Yeah, definitely, definitely do. Mm. Listen, both. Simple. Listen. Uh, next up, what we got? We got time for like one more. Real one more. <clears throat> Go ahead. My hubby and I haven't talked in three days because mm. we got into a big argument on whether or not you should use the headset as the driver. Headrest. Headrest as the driver. Mm. The headrest. He mm. says no. I says I say yes. Who's right? Okay, simple solutions. <laughs> this uh, simple solutions. I this is a tangent. That this is so married relationships in general. You ain't gotta be married. You know this. Damn. When something small and silly blows up, and you look back five days later, like we were upset for a whole day over this. This is so quintessential relationships. They got they haven't talked in three days because they had a huge blowout. About not using or using the headrest, which means you're comfortable enough to be leaning all the way back in your driver's seat with your head on the rest. She's like, no, you need to be up more alert, right? Simple solutions. Use the headrest or not when you're driving. I guess it just depends on what you like. No, are you using a headrest or not? I I sit up pretty well. No, don't use it. You're too relaxed. Too relaxed. I disagree. My brother is a chill And he's driver, too relaxed. But he goes slow. He yeah. takes his time. Oh, you can get out the way with that. I like no slow drive. Get oh, yeah. That, my, my brother taught me um, you drive to be seen. To yeah. Be seen. That was, and I think he still carries that philosophy. So he drives really slow. Drive to be yeah. seen. Yeah. Like you ain't trying to just. like like he, he's, what, That's what your outfit he's for. He's never like. That's, this is everything about him. Oh, everything about him. <laughs> <laughs> you here to be seen. Yeah. Like you, you look Is good. he punctual? Yeah. Okay. And and okay. then he leaves within enough time because he, he knows he's not in a rush. I respect that. So he's like I respect a, that. He's a speed limit driver. He just chill. I hear. I hear. I I I I don't I'm, think it's worth. It. I mean, I, he I must was, really be leaning back, and it's a problem. <laughs> like if for her, because this is a this is such a small thing. Such a small thing. But I do think. I mean, like you do have to lean your head back when you on the. I mean, but. Some people just drive like that. Like, long, I think if it's working, a long head, a long yeah, he drive. He has to get up to like <laughs> to look navig- in the mirror, navigate. But if he just like on, <laughs> that's his cruise control. Uh, a long drive, I'm with you. If he's saying, driving, driving the twelve hours to Texas in the summertime. That is just so funny. And I then just, she said, "Who's right?" I just appreciate in a relationship. You know what I'm talking about. You've had a, a just a dumb, silly fight that blew up over something so small. This was small. Somebody probably made a joke. And it's also probably the first time. We know how relationships go. Oh. I misread it. She the oh. one using the headrest. I assumed it was the man. Oh, then you right. <laughs> I say yes. He says no. My bad, big dog. That's so just funny. Flip it. Take everything we said. My bad. Just flip, just flip it. it. Just flip it. But I did go gender because I think about men. Cruising yeah, that's true. Gen- generally speaking. But she said, no, nah, I use my headrest. <laughs> that's so funny. Maybe the head be. she got low cut. Oh, in the back, so it ain't she ain't worry about the finger waves. I have no idea. Hilarious. That's so funny. Uh, Sorry, I just was like, wait, no, actually, this was a woman. We got bullet points over I here. I don't think it matters. I mean, it, I think as long as you're being a safe driver, it doesn't matter. I think so. I think so. You think it does matter? You should not be using. I'm just. I I don't even care about that. I'm just stuck on the fact that I'm laughing at a small, a small statement. Three it days. Blew, it blew up, and that is just, it's just gonna happen. That is it's so happen. dumb. You gotta fight. And back you look that. back. You're like, that's what we fought. But you know what I really think is that this means that there's something else. There's an underlying issue for, for something sure. that's about a head rest. That's so, sure. small. You, so small. You must either think he's not a good job, she's not a good job. Something like that. There is some like something. Bigger, the iceberg. There's a bigger problem there. Yep, yep. Head rest yep. is not the under the ocean. Simple solutions. <laughs> there's always something bigger. Simple solutions. Communicate. I think I could literally uh, just end every simple solution thing. Y'all need to sit down and kind of have a hash out. Boom. Every time. Every time. That's it. Simple solutions. We appreciate. It. Hope you found a good time. Hope we got some value out of here. We appreciate y'all, man, so much rocking with us here. Check us out over on Instagram. That's where the fun continues. Sum it up, Sumners. Sum it up, Sumners. That's the handle. We got to get out of here. Katoya, Damon. Talk soon.